Text. Uh, that thingy on your phone was some red eyeball icon, right? Yeah, right. We ended up at that weird place when we used this nav app, right? I found it on my phone too. I don't even remember installing it. Uh, delete it at once. <laughs> I deleted it earlier, but it came back. I think it's being downloaded on its own somehow. It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is. But with it, we can go to that weird place, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna instigate another for real. Seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. But first, we gotta find evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, all right? Don't go ditching school on me. Cool, so instead of people showing up in the hallway and being like, hey, I wanna hang out with you, we're gonna get like a million texts the night before of people being like, yo, yo, you better show up to, to class. You better show up to school. We gotta hang out and do shit. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of fucking Zuck in the metaverse again. God damn Zuckerberg. Ruining everything. We're finally in a more modern technology era. Hell yeah. Hmm. Welcome to the Velvet Room. We're gonna get exposited too, so I let's go auto. resuming our previous conversation tonight. Mm. That is why I have summoned you. Yes, yes. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Yes, yes, yes indeed. Mm -hmm. Don't be stupid. No, my guts need to- God damn it! What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Yeah. Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Uh, Ryuji and I are partners? He really is Yosuke. He's just gonna be like, yo, partner, partner, partner. Come on, partner. We're, 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 we're together, partner. Yeah, partner, 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 partner. I mean, you mean Ryuji? <laughs> Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. Ah. You've done well. He that is said, our confidant. I am not know. advising the formation of superficial relationships. Hmm. It Only the heavy, deep, and real. Frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. Mm. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. Oh. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Ooh. Personas are the strength of heart. Okay. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a, a weakling talent? like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Okay. Confidants are our social links. Cool, cool. Uh, question, chat. Do we still gain, like, social, like, affection points and stuff, like in Persona 4? Or have they, like, simplified it to where... Because I have not seen any bring pop up on anybody yet of, like, oh, we're earning points with them. It still is there? Okay, okay, cool. Cool, nice. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. Hmm. Feels like Igor has high expectations of me, just like everybody else in this society. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. Who are we getting? With the birth of the full persona, Oh, this is ours. I have obtained the wings this is of ours. Okay. that shall lead to freedom and new power. So we're the fool again. Okay. Oh, wait. No. It's for Igor. Wild talk. New ability allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a holdup. Wait. Wait, negotiate with shadows? A non-combat way to deal with shadows in, like, dungeons and shit? People you have formed a bond with, a lot of special confidant abilities, that makes sense. Confidant rank, they strengthen your trust with someone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Does this mean that instead of the abilities being tied to whether they're in your party, it's gonna be about you just get the ability as long as their rank is that high? Oh, that's cool. A little bit of both? Okay, okay. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Okay, now cool. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. No, in the previous game, most of the abilities you got How from annoying. ranking. We most... barely started high Hold school on. and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? Yeah, most of the abilities you got in the previous game were based around your party members being more effective in combat. So they can endure a mortal blow, which is like, cool. If you're not gonna use them, it doesn't matter if they're leveled up or not. And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. Oh. We get to see his technique live and in person though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Bandwagoning first year. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Thank God it's not a Friday. Nice toss. <laughs> Man, you still got it, coach. Thanks. Let's go for one more. He knows it's coming. focusing on right in the face sorry hey are you all right someone take him to the nurse's office He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. Hmm. So An knows kind of assholes acting like a king over here too. Yeah, An kind of knows what he is, but for some reason she's not. She's not like doing like anything about it. It seems she's sharp. Yeah, she knows what's going on, but she's at the very least not actively engaging, you know? No, 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 he was just being tactical. The teacher aimed it at his head because it's almost impossible to, um, uh, it's almost impossible to receive it at that height, but it was probably spinning down and curving fast enough that it wasn't gonna go out of bounds. So if anything, yeah, I think that that was, that was not necessarily a personal spike. It was just something that was very, very grossly competitive, you know? Yeah, stroke my ego by beating kids. Yeah, yeah, this is the kind of person that likes to play two levels down in a sports environment and so that they're the best player on both sides just to feed their ego, yeah, yeah. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Case in point. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyways, now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I don't remember I'll be what sure their to faces find were. Someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. I don't remember their faces. Don't worry. I remember them clearly. Okay, cool. The first one that popped out was a guy from class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Okay. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? We should team up with somebody, like On, maybe. Quick travel! Hell yeah. Nice. Alright, so... We are... 
just gonna go here then. Oh dang, yeah. What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Okay. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? Okay. How did you get injured? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah... Are you afraid? I'm not! You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Yeah, just lie and say we do. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Yeah. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Yeah. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Um, I think I want to leave it to him because, like, we have an opportunity to get points with him by hanging out with him, and also I want to show that I have faith in him. You know. And I'll leave it to you too. I guess we just gotta split up. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we have no choice. I'll check the practice building <laughs> for people before clubs start. All right. You handle the classroom building. There's cool a third beans. here on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C. I'm just trying to logic this shit out and metagame my way to greatness, but nope. No this choice. Beat pretty badly at the castle. Might have some injuries here too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Are the rails off in the game now, or are we kinda in the pseudo rails kind of beginning of the game? Do you think Suzuki san's been acting strange lately? She's been sighing a lot. She used to be a lot happier when we were first years, plus those bruises. I think she's in trouble. She's trying to become a volleyball starter, isn't she? I heard she takes private lessons with Mr. Kamoshida every day. Ooh. Apparently she's been a really good player ever since she was in middle school. Anyway, acting sad like that while keeping Mr. Kamoshida to herself is kind of arrogant, don't you think? Yikes. Oh, oh no. I have a I have a bad I have a bad feeling about this. When I was on the first floor just now, I saw someone who was all bandaged up. Oh, I bet it was someone from the volleyball team. Even the third years get worked hard. Hmm. I saw Mr. Kamoshida asking Takamaki out in the hall yesterday. But she just shot him down. She's so uptight. She's probably had a bunch of boyfriends. I think the popularity went to her head. And she's looking down on us other girls, right? As to be expected from a foreigner. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit of, a little bit of casual uh, stuff going on there. It'll be good to remember for later. Do you need something? I really wish you wouldn't talk to me in such a public's place. Uh, I want dirt on Kamashita. What? Well, why don't you ask Mishima Kun about that? He's in class D with you, isn't he? To be honest, I've heard some rumors about him and Mr. Kamashita. Don't ask me anymore, though. I don't want the teachers to see me associating with you. Okay, newspaper club girl is gonna be really helpful later. I can just see it. Ah, the transfer student. What is it? I'll tell you on. I'll tell on you if you try and do something to me. You on the volleyball team? Huh? I'm not. Why are you snooping around like this? Oh, sorry about that. Please don't stab me. <laughs> yes, I'm totally gonna stab you. I got nothing over this area. How about you? Uh, nothing at all? Nope. Wonder if we can track down some third years and ask them? I don't see any on my end, so check around where you are. All right, so third years going down to the first floor then. Man, cleaning up after the volleyball rally is gonna be such a goddamn pain. Huh? What do you want? Hmm, you got something to say? Uh, you on the volleyball team? So what if I am? Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Okay, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamoshida, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practices are gonna be tough. Mr. Kamoshida's just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. Uh, that's corporal punishment. Who cares? D don't talk like you know. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and start attacking us? 
I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? How's it going? Uh, he refused. Him too? Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamashita. But I still got a lead. A first year, new member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamashita's web of bullshit yet. Go ask around with the first years. See if you can find him. Okay. Only the 50 most recent chat threads will be saved. Old chats will be automatically chats will be automatically deleted. So don't forget to read them. Wait, we we're gonna have 50 threads at least at some point. Oh my god, this is this is gonna be wild. I'm so glad I'm not on the volleyball team. Doesn't it seem like the first years always have to run? And they have to run all the way down from the third floor too. They certainly tough it out well, but I feel sorry for them. I was gonna mention that, that the first years are on the third floor. That is interesting. Yeah? Everyone's saying a lot of bad stuff about that transfer student our class on. Uh... Or your class. I know, I hate rumors already, but they're only getting more and more complex as time goes on. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's all right. I hope he's not letting it get to him too much. That's just like you, Shiho. Always worrying about other people before yourself. Yeah. Kind of like when you were there for me. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, huh? Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? Uh, what are those in Uh, I need information. What's that supposed to mean? Look, don't wrap me up in whatever weird stuff you're getting yourself into. Besides, Mr. Kamashita doesn't want us talking to sketchy people like you. If he saw me here, he'd totally give me a special coaching, just like he did with Mishima-senpai. Oh, uh, never mind, forget I said anything. Uh, yeah, Mishima, special coaching? I can't do it. Please, just stop talking to me. Ask someone else if you want to know more. Attention, attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Damn it, we're out of time. How'd it go? Uh, take a wild guess. <laughs> so you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> It'll be quick. Okay. All right. Bet. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? Yeah. There's that weird rumor about you, too. Mm -hmm. What do you want with him? Hey! Is this our new trio? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. Yeah. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Oh, do it, do it, go off, Ryuji, go. Huh? I see, I get ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. No, she's testing us. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? Oh, uh, here we go, here we go. What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. Mm. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? Uh, she seemed annoyed. She's been like that since middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had okay. no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? <laughs> wow, very specific, yes. Mishima. <laughs> Emphysema. <laughs> huh? Special coaching, huh? Yeah. True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. All right. Here we hey, go. Got a second? Mishima. Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Yep. 
Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. Uh... What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today. Right in the face. Oh, that what? Oh, it all clicks. Yeah, no, it was intentional. Never mind. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain uh, all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Well... Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. Yep, classic. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Mm. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Oh, go off, buddy, go off! Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. Yeah. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from the school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? You have an amazing spike. <laughs> it's 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 a great spike. It's it it's amazing how it can reach all the way up from your ass into your brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna compliment his ass. <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my <laughs> All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. Oh, baby's scared. He's gonna lose control. Oh, big baby man is gonna lose control. No. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Mm. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. Damn. They, that asshole. They, they went all out making this guy an absolute piece of shit. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Yeah, talk to us, kid. Talk to us. Hoping that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. Oh. The principal, our parents, they all know, and they all keep quiet about it. Whoa. Oh, this is too real. Okay. I know somebody. I know somebody that was really, really good at sports, right? And their whole thing was that they were so good, right, that they got basically given an opportunity to play for like the select teams, like the really high-end teams and stuff like that. And then what ended up happening was, is they would give the kids um, tons of painkillers once the kids had basically reached that point uh, to where they couldn't practice anymore so that they would keep going. And then the parents were told basically, this is something that's going to make your kid a better player. Even though if they went and t did one little bit of critical thinking stuff and asked their like doctors and stuff like, what, 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 what? And they'd be like, no. And so they would literally like pass the kids like pills and shit to be like, keep going. And this is not happening without the parents' knowledge. The parents then believe it's actually a good thing. Like this happened in high school. Yeah, like in high schools. Yeah, you guys are like shocked and stuff, but if you know anything about like hardcore like sports culture in schools and stuff, like this is straight up like actually a thing. Not just a, oh, Japan's kind of intense and stuff. No, no, the US too. Nothing new at all, yep. Like what I love about this storyline is that while Kamashita is like cartoonishly evil under a certain context, what he's doing is not unrealistic at all. Oh yeah, performance enhancers for sure. Yep. And that's that's in some ways one of the more like rare things. It's more the stuff that you want to look at with practices. Because kids have to maintain like grades and stuff like that. So there's a certain level of like what their hourly school you know, the what their school hours are. 
But then it comes a thing where if they add like daily practices into that, it then comes to a thing where the kids barely even get sleep. Like, it's it's insane. Especially the more physical the sport is, like the more violent and um, like not violent, but you know what I mean. Like uh, the more like contact heavy the sport is, especially. Hockey is really bad. Football can get really bad. Pretty much any any competitive sports thing that where there's like a like, like a team thing rather than like an individual performance. Because individual performance, then it just becomes a thing where uh, bodies and talent end up playing the biggest part there. Contact sports. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. This has got to be a joke. Nope. This is for real. Be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? Damn it. Are you gonna quit? No, I ain't giving up. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Yeah. All right. don't make any damn sense. The principals and even the parents know about the abuse. Why ain't anybody speaking up? It's all three of these, kind of. I don't think it's any one of these. But I like that they give me this level of choice here, even though it might not literally mean anything, but... I want to say they're afraid of Kamoshida, though. It can't be the only thing keeping both the principal and the parents quiet, though. I know, but whatever. It's basically because Kamoshida made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Even so, that don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating kids up, and all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about on? Or... Yeah, on Takamaki. On Takamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. I mean, she's in your class, dude. Ugh, what a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamoshida during break tomorrow. Just you watch, I ain't giving up. Did you see Mr. Kamoshida play yesterday? He was so awesome. I think I might ask for his autograph after school. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I hear that you shouldn't go near the PE faculty office. Oh my god. Ugh. People say you can hear weird sounds like screaming, even though no one's there. So about witnesses. I was wondering if we could get something out of Takamaki. Uh, yeah, since she was Kamashita, yeah. No, that ain't why. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takemaki's BFFs with a starter, a girl named Suzui. I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takemaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? <laughs> Bro, we need to swat him, holy shit. Like. That, uh, that, that would be, that would be, ooh, that'd be dangerous and also, uh, <laughs> might not work out. Might make things way worse. This game does make a great emotional case for our characters would take on vigilante justice. Yes, yes, I agree. And that is kind of the point of the story. And you kind of have to suspend your disbelief a little bit for that. But, hey, the characters are going to be teens, you know, and they're going to be fighting for justice, you know, and not involve the adults. This kind of stuff needs to happen. Although it would be nice to have like a setup where we don't necessarily have like adult party members, but given that, um, what's her name? The investigator lady? Yeah, Sai Nijima. She could be basically our adult character that's involved and knows about like personas and shit, but isn't like a party member. Cause that'd be pretty sick. Uh-huh. Oh jeez. That bruise above Another your eye. Another bruise, yep. Is that from practice too? Y yeah. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Those aren't your words, Shiho. 
the way she said that, so defeated. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. <laughs> I should get going. Shiho. Okay, yeah, An, you you are dangerously close to being complicit here, it feels like. Like, either that or she's entirely unaware and very then stupid, potentially. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. They're kids, they're kids, they're kids. I shouldn't judge them. I shouldn't judge them. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Okay. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Hey, was, aren't you a dachi? <laughs> Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. No way. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. For real. Wow. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Uh. Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamashita's bitch. They're kids. They're kids. They're kids. Hey, hey, okay, okay, okay. What? Didn't say anything. Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Uh, are you hurt? No. Don't worry about it. I really am sorry, though. I must have spaced out. Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Hmm. Daughters? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Why do you say that? Well, I've helped with a similar situation before. My best friend is often misunderstood too, uh, all because of her looks. Gotcha. On mentioning that Shiho kind of helped her out before, helped dispel some rumors. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so Shiho, so An feels like she owes Shiho a lot, but maybe, maybe doesn't actually know what's going on. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. No, no, let me get your social link. No! Damn it. Our protagonist is too cool and stoic. Damn it. Ah. What the hell? Did you find someone? <sighs> is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Mm -hmm. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate... Looks like we'll have to go to him directly. Well, I mean, there isn't really any point. Yeah, but fine, let's do it. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm going to give in like this. Can you think of anything? Uh, sneak attack, yeah. I like it. Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? Okay, fine, we could call the cops. So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe no, us. No, tell them about the abuse. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? Let's punish the king. The king? You mean that other yeah. world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but... Let's do it. Is there any meaning to... I... Oh, oh, whoops. I didn't mean to skip that. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Morgana! Morgana! Wait! <laughs> ah, yes, a regular human. <laughs> Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. Yes, actually talking, cat. Is that you, Morgana? Hell yeah. How dare you up and leaving me the other day? <laughs> the cat's talking? Yeah, yeah. Clearly, man, we're, we're in the Matrix. Like, there's just some weird shit in general in this world. I am not a cat. 
This is just what happened when I came to this world. <laughs> it was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? Guess so. <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? Oh my god. <laughs> Where do you store your phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. Oh my gosh. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? <laughs> you hearing this too? That is uh that is such a real question. Like, you you hearing this too? Like, like, I'm not crazy, right? Uh, meow? <laughs> this is no time to be joking around! <laughs> You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. Hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Ah, uh, yes, mm-hmm, yes, indeed. Oh, shut up. You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. But you need us to then do that favor you wanted with the investigation, mm hmm You were pretty close just a moment ago. Ooh. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. Wait, you, you just now clued into that? You were still doubting me? <laughs> God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? Oh, oh, no way. I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? <laughs> uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Into the backpack with you. Meow? Meow? <laughs> Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. Oh, weird. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier. Okay. Is it for real? Is it for real? Yes! You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Uh-huh, it's true, Morgana. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. Yes! It should be just small enough to fit. Yes! Hey, how dare you treat me like... Ah, stealth mission. Don't be so rough with me. It's okay, it's his first time putting his hands on a pussy. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. Mm -hmm. He doesn't realize what happens <laughs> in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. I mean, I am a joker after all. That's just... yeah. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. Oh, we're blowing up the castle. Okay. What did happen? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. Oh, God. So, if that castle were no more... Oh, God. If, if, I swear to God, if if us getting rid of the castle changes him personally... I'm not gonna like this game. I, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna like this game. If, if they do that, I, I swear. No, 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 no. No, I don't... I don't like this. Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. Like, that is way too, like, childish and boring. For real? He, For real? Good, but is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. Uh... <sighs> There's ways that they can execute this that will be satisfying. There's ways that they can do this that will be satisfying. Well, well, no, no, I'm not saying it's going to be that simple in its entirety, but while we're in the tutorial thing, Morgana is explaining it in a very simple way. I, that's just a fact. Erasing an, a palace, essentially, saying that it boils down to, you know, forcing the owner to have a change of heart. That's, there's no nuance to that. That's just what the change of heart is going to be. We don't necessarily know, you know. So let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's hope that it's executed rather well. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes and he'll confess them himself. Oh. 
interesting. There's a world... There's a world to that that could be interesting. Hmm. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. He didn't remember what we did there in the first place. I, I'm sorry. I'm having some issues with the world building in this game right now. What? He, is this a translate? Yeah, is this a translation thing? Like. Not only will we be able to bring Kamashita down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. Okay. That's amazing. You are one incredible cat. What did he mean to say then? True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? Yeah. By stealing the treasure held within. Okay. Okay. We're we're performing a heist. Okay. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. Mm. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. No evidence. Okay. All right. Good. Meow. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. Okay, hit me. Hit me with it. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. Yes, so... But desires are what we all need in order to survive. <laughs> Morgana's like, so we're going to mind fuck him. He won't be able to live. Like, <laughs> this is kind of vengeance. Like <laughs> The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. Holy shit, Morgana. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you getting at? Yeah, uh... Oh, uh, wait, wait. If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. Oh, wait, shit. Is that what's going on with the people going wild in the city? And then they're being somewhat, like, manipulated in those moments? They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... Oh, shit. They might die! Oh, shit. Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Okay, I feel addressed as a player here. Thank you, Morgana. I'm sorry for taking what you said out of context and not listening to the full package of the exposition. That... 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 that was really funny. I... I, I, I'm sorry. Out of context, Morgana was giving very, like, poorly fragmented exposition here. That, that, okay, alright, yeah. Would their death be our fault? <laughs> Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Okay, hey, okay. What do you think? I am interested. <laughs> Oh my god! I should have called that one. I I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Sheesh. <laughs> I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. Oh uh, yeah. Fuck them. Let's the go. Point. If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Maybe how, in Persona 4, the way that the shadows get defeated isn't just by reducing their HP to zero in the fight. There is a little bit of a conversation afterwards. So maybe some of the ways in which we directly interact with the shadow at the end of the boss fight will somewhat determine the way that the character in real life, you know, is affected by it. So that, that could be something there as well. Yeah, okay. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. <laughs> we? <laughs> Ryuji. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Ryuji, I'm on board with this. Let's go do it. Oh, wait, wait. Are we free to move about the cabin? Yo, some of the guys in my class have been talking about that Suzui girl. Looks like rumors are going around about her and Kamoshida. 
If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. Uh, you know something? It's nothing so clear cut, but I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. There's just no way Kamoshida's their type, you know? So, I gotta wonder where those rumors came from. I guess we'll get to it tomorrow. See ya. Obediently return home. I have a theory. Okay, so here's my theory, y'all. I'll walk slowly while I have this theory. If I can walk slowly. I can only kind of pseudo fast walk. So my thought is that both of these girls were approached by Kamashida to enter into a very, uh, very unethical student-teacher relationship, right? Ahn was getting bullied probably because she rejected Kamashida, right? Kamashida ends up maybe even feeding into the rumors and stuff because he keeps going after her. And thus everyone, you know, starts like calling her a slut, you know, doing like really just horrible things to her in general. Then Shiho specifically tries to dispel the rumors by being like, no, no, she's not doing that. If anything, I'm the one doing that. And then she basically draws the ire of Kamashita for her. And then the problem with that is that she didn't know what she was getting into because Kamashita also probably beats her. And then it's the thing as to where Kamashita is to An gross because he's in a relationship with Shiho, but An hasn't drawn the connection yet that Kamashita is beating Shiho. So yeah, it's super fucked up, but I'm trying to figure out a way in where An is not potentially enabling abuse here. I saw that new transfer student hanging out with Sakamoto-kun. The two of them are so scary. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who'd have a criminal record. Maybe he's one of those. You know, the people in those accidents. Maybe he suddenly freaks out and attacks people. Huh? I don't think so. He's just been coming to school. Actually, he almost seems normal. And from what I hear, after you have a psychotic breakdown, you go brain dead and die right there. Wow. Immediately after the exposition uh, given from uh, Morgana. Okay, so that's definitely what's going on there. Oh, Sakamoto's been asking questions about the volleyball team. Just who does he think he is? Oh, the volleyball team's never going to tell him anything. They're all completely loyal to Kamashita. Well, if Kamashita likes them, their future is pretty much set. Of course they'd back him up. Speaking of which, I hear Kamashita's new favorite girl is someone named Suzui. New favorite girl. Oh, that, what do you, what do you know? Oh, the girl who was chosen to be a regular? Ah, uh, her face was all swollen. It looks pretty bad. Yep, I think I'm onto something here. How can you think it's all a coincidence if the same thing keeps happening again and again? The train derailing the other day was horrific. If you ask me, it looked like an act of terrorism. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Another country attacking us. You think they're using mind control? If it was mind control, they're messing it up. Those people end up going brain dead, don't they? No evidence if they die. For real? It, what? For real is going Please to haunt give you. It a rest? Oh. I told you I'm not feeling up to it. Oh shit, he's calling her too. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. Oh. Uh, you call yourself a teacher? Here we go. This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, uh. Oh wait, oh wait. Shiho's starting position. He's now threatening He's threatening Shio to punish On for not getting with him. Holy shit. So we can hold basically a sword of Damocles over Shiho. Alright. Hey. Wait, were you listening? Yup. I was eavesdropping. Yep. Haven't you heard of privacy? No. Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. Oh, she was crying. 
So, how much did you hear? Well, let's just assume I heard everything. Hmm, something about a friend. Shio. Yeah. It's nothing at all. Okay. Nothing. Pretty sure Shiho's line is nothing happened, nothing at all. As she just sits there like Zoro, trying to protect her friend. Just being like, nope, nothing happened, nothing at all. I wonder what happened. I should follow her. All right, we just gotta keep following her. All right. All right, here she is. Stop following me. Just leave me alone. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't. Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Let's go somewhere safe. What the heck? I really don't get you. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to talk about with you. Well. It was just an argument. That's going to change. Seems like she's really stressed out. Cutscene time. Cutscene time. Thank okay. You very much. Let's You've go heard full the anime, yeah. Haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Mm-hmm. And everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <laughs> now is him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. Uh-huh. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, she was my best friend. She's all I have left of that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. Saying, I barely even talked to you before. Maybe that's why. <laughs> you might be right. Yeah. You're so weird. Usually, everyone just ignores me. Mm. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but. I just don't see it. I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> oh God, I, the cringe, but I have to say it. I have to say it. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? I had the, I had the guts to say it. So there we go. Worth. Kind of had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. New social link slash confidant? Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Let's get his ass then. Like, forget about me and everything. All right, all right, setting it up for defeating his shadow to have her stop go him stop going after on, sure. As if something like that would ever happen. Hmm. <laughs> That's too convenient. Thank you, game. We're in a fantastical world with ridiculous, you know, fantastical rules and stuff. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, game. Yeah, this game knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too convenient. <laughs> I 
I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. Mm. I'm gonna head home. Cool. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? Okay. I'll try and think of a way to persuade Komoshida. Well, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Suzui. Hey, yeah, these two. Are you leaving? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. Oh no, the place that, ugh. What did he say? I don't know. God, they look so broken. Well, I have to go. <sighs> On? On. Oh, 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 her little, her little gasp of, her little gasp of emotion there. Hey. Right. Where have you been? <laughs> uh, getting shit done. Some thug was bothering me. <laughs> Just don't come running to me when you get arrested. That'll be it for you, remember? Yeah, yeah. By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? I mean, I'm trying to get to know you. <laughs> I actually made a friend. They've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. Mm. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Aww, I know you care, Sojiro. You're just conflicted because hey, of your, uh... I'm leaving. Okay, alright. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? Sure. So what do you think about what Morgana told us? I don't know if I get all that stuff about stealing desires. And Kamashita's gonna turn like brain dead if we mess him up, right? Or if we mess up, right? I mean, sure, I'm pissed at him. But I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. Nah, he deserves it. I feel you, but... I really don't want to turn into a murderer because of this shit. Oh well. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. <laughs> Ryuji's gonna like, yeah, like put his like three brain cells together and come up for something there. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. Oh. There are three branches in our government. All right, knowledge time. The National Diet is legislative, mm -hmm. the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. Yep, yep. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Cool. Have you made up your mind? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Krispy Kreme, uh, your uh, pants are meowing. Please stop that. <laughs> Don't talk. <laughs> Why are you in there? Hmm, did I just hear a cat just now? Oh my god. Cat? Meow! <laughs> no! Morgana, don't meow again! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Yes, in the ceiling. Clearly. Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. <laughs> oh! It's no use. I can't think of any other way. Are you cutting class? No. What? What? I wouldn't say this! These are the same thing, too. Are you cutting class? I can't deal with that shit right now. I mean, what are we gonna do about Kamashita? Do we just gotta go along with what that cat says? Ugh, that damn furball. If you only knew, I'm reading this too. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hey, that's good. What's that? What's what? Enough! This is a classroom! The music stopped. Wait. She's going to jump! Oh my god. Suzui? 
Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, stay in your seats. Do not step foot outside of this room. No way. Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui. Suzui. Huh? Suzui, hey, son. Let's go look. No! Holy shit! What's going on? We should head to the courtyard too. <sighs> oh, but we can't kill Kamashita. No, 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 no. That would be That would make us just as bad as as he is. Just as bad as he is. Emotionally uh, abusing a girl to commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Hey, did you see her fall? I wonder if she's okay. Yeah, I saw it. After falling from that height, she must be seriously hurt or worse. Hmm? Oh my god. Let me through! What the hell? Let me through, man! Please! Hey, is she dead? Where's the ambulance? No, she won't die from that low height. I'm sure she'll be fine. Hmm? What a bother. You, get the students back to their classrooms. I'm going to the faculty. I'm going to the faculty office. I better warn everyone not to go online and talk about this, too. <laughs> Oh. What? Um, but who's going to explain the situation to the paramedics? And what about tending to the victim? There are more important matters to address. A uh, student with a portrait. Okay. Class is still in session. Oh, she's alive. Oh my god, she's alive. Okay. She she might be paralyzed, though. What the hell's wrong with these people? We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? I swear to God. Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. Huh. None of the teachers want to be even... Wow. I'll go. Please hurry. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm sorry. I can't take this anymore. God, the voice acting is so good in this game. Huh. She huh? Oh, God, she just whispered. She just whispered that it was Kamoshida. Kamoshida? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there it is. Her legs at the very least just completely wrecked. Yeah, there's Mishima in the background there. Return to your classrooms at once! There's Talison. <laughs> oh Yeah, go, 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 go. Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? He knows too. Yep. Let's go. We're gonna make him talk this time. Uh-huh. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. He's like, we need to control the narrative. Bruh, they have cell phones. It's too late for that shit. 
Unless they have like very specific types of internet access that here. Hurts. Why'd you run like that, huh? <laughs> the heroes are, are are bullying this kid into a corner to make him talk so that they can save a girl's life. Oh my god. I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself. <laughs> Fuck, man! Like Ryuji's voice acting is so good. Like I can can we just talk? Like this is such a fucked up storyline, but like. The voice acting is actually just killing it right now. This is, this is so good. Leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, Morgana is watching. Yes, yes, very cool. Just tell us. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Uh-huh. Suzui. Come on, man. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times too, to the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood. Hit them. <sighs> okay, it's 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 that simple. Okay. So the physical punishment thing was for real. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. Ugh. Yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. Ah. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Okay. Okay, that's because of the situation with An, which we know now because of our conversation with her. Mr. Cool. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day, mm -hmm. so it must have been worse than usual. Mm -hmm. He didn't. That son of a bitch. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamashita. Mr. Kamashita's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. Ah, right, here we go. This sucks. Wait. Oh, it's at the end there. I just look at the mini mini map. Okay. Huh? Huh? You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? Just casually in here, doing nothing. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. That is enough. What you did was in coaching. Oh, go off, Mishima. Yeah. What did you say? You, you ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. <sighs> Oh, you're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about. Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from a hospital. Suzui's in a coma and her chances of recovery are slim. Oh my How would god. Something like that make a statement. So, so <laughs> the voice acting, yes, across the board is incredible here. You guys ever like watch a piece of media and you get triggered emotionally, right? But there's a specific kind of triggering that I feel like a lot of people understand the experience of. And I call it, like, my justice button was triggered. I, I don't want just justice here. Like, I, <laughs> like, 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 revenge button. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's just, oh, it's so, oh, ho, 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 ho. like. <laughs> There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. Yeah, the moment where you change your beliefs from violence shouldn't be the answer to here to violence is the only answer here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the whole, like, I I am feeling my morals slip a little bit. Like, like no. oh my god. God damn. This again. 
Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? Oh! <laughs> you shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Yeah, yeah, stop him. Nice, nice, Why nice. Why are you stopping me? We have a better way to hurt him. But still! Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, <sighs> you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. Oh. I. What? You can't make a decision like that. Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? Wow. You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. Yeah, you're the perfect scapegoat. Yeah. You act like you're a victim, but you leaked his criminal oh. records, didn't you? Oh, fuck. It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, yeah. He is a scapegoat, but not for the things I was thinking of. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, what I thought was that he could make him do, like, other stuff, but okay, yeah, yeah. He told me to do it. Uh-huh. I had no choice. Yeah. <laughs> ha! He's now, maniacally laughing! Are finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Uh, now you just turn on the recorder on your phone and keep talking, you know? He'll eat his words, yep. Huh? Oh, right. We have that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> have you lost your minds? No, but you might soon. You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Nice, nice. So instead of weather, we have a literal in-story time limit that's way more compelling. Cool. We can't waste any time. Yep. Time to do crime. <laughs> no holding back now. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. Yep. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume sure. that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Yep. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. Okay. And you? Cool. I agree. Then it's settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? <laughs> no, it's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? <laughs> huh? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? All right, the team is here. Everyone's talking about it. Let's go, let's go. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida? Let me in on it too. Mm hmm I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. So are we gonna set up like three more like social links here? We're gonna get our team's social link. We're gonna get one for Morgana. We're gonna get one for On. Let's fucking go. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does. Shiho's my. I said, don't get in our way. <sighs> That was harsh. Yeah, it was. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. We, we took you, Ryuji. Bro. Women can be much bolder than men at times. Okay. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already. The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. All right. 
Huh? Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. Hell yeah. Not bad. I like it. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. Hell yeah. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? Of course. <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. All right. Let's go. They really are going to do something. <laughs> they were easy to follow, and Ans just like, ah, so that's the shit they're doing. All right, and she's just gonna watch them go like warp out of existence and be like, ah, uh, what? And then she follows us uh, into it. They're doing something on their phone. The name, school? Huh? Oh shit. Oh, she's just. Is she in? Oh. All right, time to bust on through. God, we look good. Oh my God, we look good. Ah, she's here. Yes. Takamaki. Shocking. <laughs> that voice, Sakamoto. And are you? Kurimukun. Why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? <laughs> Morgana, I calm see. down. Calm down. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. Oh. Okay. For real? <laughs> yep, there. There we go. What is that, like Wait, 26 right so now? This is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave. No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It's hot! <laughs> oh my god! It's a monster cat! <laughs> monster? Realistic response is realistic. You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! Alright! Cool! <sighs> like we gotta force her but how are we supposed to do that oh she's gonna have a sick persona her persona is gonna Let's be awesome to where we came in that's how it worked last time right oh what arcana would on be moon lovers what's the um what was the uh is it just called like magic what's the um what's the magic one is it just called is it just called magic I, i'm trying to remember what it was Magician. Pfft, I'm so dumb. <laughs> she could be. Oh no, she could be priestess too potentially. She does feel like she has like a a support air about her. But also, so does Morgana. Empress? No, I don't think Empress. No. Mm. Oh yeah. Can you lend me a hand? Got it. <laughs> what? What are you? We'll explain after everything's over. Yeah. She's like, what? Hey, and just where are you touching? Uh, Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... Oh, boy. That's not important. You no. Guys, seriously? I don't think she's star either. Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Because our protagonist is being kind of oddly silent right now. Jeez, ah, Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We got to deal with this fast. That girl's name is On Takamaki, right? Lady On. Lady On. Oh, pff. Cal calm down, Morgana. <laughs> the shadows have noticed <gasps> us. You better brace yourselves. Got it? We're counting on you, Joker. All right. Joker? That a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. It's a code name. Hell yeah. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. Right. Just like Morgana 
isn't probably this cat's real name, but a cool code name, you know? And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. Sure, okay. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. Cool. Not bad, yeah. It's settled then. Indeed, indeed. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be, let's see. Captain, something like that. Thug. Thug, ha, ha, ha. Are you picking a fight with me? <laughs> yeah, I'll choose it myself. All right, all right, all right, what you got, Ryuji? <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. A uh, skull? Honestly, I actually kind of like it. What if we named me after this? The mask, maybe? Fine. Skull, Why not yeah. Skull, then? There we go, I like it, yeah. Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! I dig it, I dig it. What do we do about this one's code name? Morgana, that's what it already is, you know? What do you think? How about Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. Sure. First and last syllable. Cool. Or first and last kanji right. or whatever. From here on out, we're Joker, Skull, and Mona. Sick. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. Oh yeah, for sure. Never break character. No, no, no. All right. Time to go Let's steal roll. this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. Dashing. If you hold right trigger while moving, you'll be able to dash. This will help you traverse the palace quickly, but be careful. While dashing, you'll be more easily spotted by enemies. Cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. Looks like they don't know about this way in yet. Joker, Skull, are you ready? Let's go. All right. Let's roll. Oh my god, that's an hey, army. Look. Ain't that... Those intruders the other day were quite entertaining. However, I can't allow that trash to ransack my castle. All right. Strengthen the security, kill them on sight. I'll reward whoever brings me their heads. Praise be to King Kamashita. Death to the intruders. All right. Hey, Mona, can't we just beat the crap out of him and call it a day? Bruh. Look at all those soldiers, idiot. It'd be suicide. And I'm sure you don't want a repeat of last time. Where we were badass and awesome. Besides, don't you want him to confess his sins? There's no point beating him up. We need to steal his materialized desires. The treasure. Oh, and we saw On in here in a bikini. So On is probably the... Mm. Fine. Uh, so where is it? Yeah. It has to be somewhere in the depths of this castle. Yeah. Let's infiltrate further in while he's out here. There's a guard over here, too. What do you want to do? Should we kick its ass? Hold on. Hmm, this might be a good opportunity to teach you something. All right, Joker. Are you ready to take it down? All uh, right, let's go. Okay. What do we got? Remember how I taught you hold-ups and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. Okay. There's another use for hold-ups, besides simply defeating enemies. In Shadows are beings born from people's hearts. So naturally, they yeah, can talk yeah, to yeah. It was like a negotiation or a terror interrogation or something like that that In we can do. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? Yeah, it's what we got from Igor. If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. Oh, that's funny. In fact, talking has a better chance of scoring something great as opposed to just offing them. Oh, cool. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold up. All right. Let's see you come down. That was incredible, Joker. <laughs> oh, seriously? You guys are the intruders that King Kamashita was talking about? It can't get worse than this. What are you going to do with me? I want an item. Actually, we want some money. Uh, huh? For real? See, for real? <laughs> So you let me live by just give you some money? Well, something along those lines. Now let it be money or items. Just cough it up. Sorry. 
But this happened so suddenly. I actually don't have anything on me. I usually do, though, you know? Wait, what? Hmm. This isn't how I was planning this to go. All right, well, then you die. Uh, if that's the case, <laughs> I guess it's time for you to go to hell. Damn, Morgana! <gasps> for real? For real? <laughs> Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Come on! No, wait up! Can we work something out? Don't kill me, please! Won't you let me go? Uh, no. I'll let you go to hell. <laughs> Uh, sorry, but that sounded really lame. Was that the best one liner you could come up with? Yes. But I'm the same way. In any other situation, we'd get along really well. Whoa, I feel different. Something's happening. What the? What's going on? Cool. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I don't belong just to King Kamashita. I am an existence that drifts about in the sea of humanity's souls. My real name is Pixie. Ah, oh, we're going to learn the names now of the personas that we fight. So now we might get a new persona here. I am thou, thou art I. Ah, cool, cool. I'm Pixie. From now on, I'll live on inside your heart. Sick. What was that just now? What happened? New Pokemon acquired. Let's roll. For real? What the hell was that about? The enemy got sucked into Joker's mask. I, I have no idea. I wasn't expecting that either. Uh-oh. Well, intruders, halt. Eh, crap, they noticed us. Oh, big one. I sense a new possibility within me stemming from the previous battle. Yep, we can now switch personas. A little cool. Okay, so then we switch to this one. Cool. Pixie. Gotcha. You're mine. Ah, and of course it's weak to that. Is that the shadow from earlier? Yep. Don't tell me. Did you take in the shadow's appearance and powers as a persona? Indeed. Let's go. Come. Go down. All right, so I think we should actually do a talk. All right, come on, Sonny, you'll help me out, won't you? Oh, lend me your power, or I wonder if I get to do it for both of them. Yeah, fine. So that's your move. Then I guess I'll talk first. I'll decide if I'm going to help you after. Give me a break. You know, up until now, I did whatever I wanted. I knew it was going to catch up to me someday. If you're gonna kill me, do me a solid and make it quick. Uh, aren't you scared? <laughs> Look, if you just want to show off how tough you are, bother someone else. I got better things to do. Bless you. Jeez, look like I ran into one crazy brat. Hey, so what do you feel when you think about the future? Oh, live fast, die young. Don't you? What are you doing? You think saying stuff like that's gonna make you look cool? Go yeah. On. Looks like this. Looks like I'll give this to you as a gift, I suppose. Not bad. Not Bye. great, but not bad. Okay. All right, that's kind of fun. Holy! Wow. Does that mean you can wield multiple personas? All right, all right. So we didn't get the best thing, but we still got something out of it. Hey, Mona, what was that about? What did Joker do? Hmm. He sealed the enemy's appearance and powers into his mask and made it his new persona. Mm -hmm. Is such a feat even possible? Even I've never seen anyone pull that off. Okay, okay. Yep. It's nothing important. Only one heart exists per person. So normally a person can only have one persona. Incredible. That ability will give us a huge advantage in battle. All right, try to do that even more if the opportunity arises. All right. Hell yeah. We'll hold every last one of them up. During a holdup, you can negotiate with any enemy shadow. They earn you a new persona. If your enemy is a persona that you already have, a mask will appear beside its name. If you ask it, let me your power. It will grant XP to your own persona, even if it's not currently equipped. Okay. 
Decide whether to defeat your foes quickly with all other attacks and earn experience or negotiate with them to obtain a persona or other reward. When you're fighting, does the length of the fight dictate the, the security level of the area and stuff? Or is it only when you're walking around? No? Okay, good. Nice. <laughs> I like you even more now. I really do have something special after all. Okay. All right, let's roll out. Hey, look. Oh, it's another hazy looking door. This is that thing, uh, what was it called? A safe room. We can discuss our strategy inside. There are a lot of places even I don't know about in here. Oh. This is that place from earlier. And she got back in, of course. But now we're separated so that Dorama can What's happen. What's up with this app? She got it too! Just said the word Sakamoto said and I ended up- Ha <laughs> ha, big brain. Princess? Huh? Princess! Ah, uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing outside of your dungeon? Well. Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, yeah. he seems to be awfully on guard. Mm-hmm. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't we be just so do hasty. It. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A uh, what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Whoa, really? You think? You say this now? Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? <laughs> it is suspicious. That's what you think of me? <laughs> you sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can talk. That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Shit. Who's this princess they're talking about? Well... I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. And he just Stuff split like the party. and that navigation app are mysterious? <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. <laughs> Remember, code names. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yeah, uh, Skull. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> that was fast. Your friend, Lady On. <laughs> Lady On. She's been taken by shadows. Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it. We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. Yep. <laughs> Shit. This way. Totally doesn't get what's going on. <sighs> Let's hurry. We have to save her. Now then. Yep, you ready? Let's go. Yes! Okay, let's go. <laughs> what's all this about? Well seriously, I'm gonna call the cops! So this is the intruder. Hmm. Kamoshida? That would Who's be that? trippy. More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. Alright. What the? Wait. Is this some red light district? <laughs> what a lively slave. Oh boy. Let's go. This isn't funny. 
Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! <laughs> the girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <laughs> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is after. Oh my god. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Oh my gosh. Hey, that's. Takamaki! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little. How many times are you gonna come back? I bet just, you just once. Like those just you once. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh. Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. Oh my god, here we go. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! Yep. No! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! All right, here we go. Maybe I'll start with their clothes. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Kill him. Takamaki! Is this my punishment for what happened to Shio? <gasps> Wait, is An gonna awaken here? That's, That's more like, like it. it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio. I'm so sorry. Oh. Don't give in. Huh? Here we go. You're right. Yeah, here Can we go. Piece of shit toy with me. Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and Oh, oh. Shut up. All right. I've had enough of this. Let's go. You piss me off, you son of a bitch. All right. Uh, it's anime time. Let's roll. Let's roll. going to avenge her you don't. Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with him. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. Whoa. You're right. No more holding back. Okay. <gasps> okay. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Oh. Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you know what? I'm not some cheap girl you can toy with. Come back. Bitch! You stole everything from Shiho. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! Alright! It's fighting words. Let's go! Let's go! Whoa! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! God, the the toilet. How dare like you a... deny King Kamoshida's love, you selfish lass. Pay for this insolence with your life. All right. That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets. Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit. Come on, Carmen. Let's give him hell. Hell yeah, with the JoJo pose and everything. All right. Persona! Carmen. Lovers, yeah! Okay, okay! Let's go! 
So we got our magic leaning, magic leaning fire persona. Okay. Weak to fire. Hell yeah. All out attack. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. All right. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah, just all out attack. Close, close. Some other way. No, you know what? Let's switch here. Let's try this. Hey, there we go, there we go. And we'll just slingshot, yeah. Hell yeah! To think there would be a woman who could stand up to King Kamoshita. Outside of school, that guy's nothing but a pathetic loser. Go off, go off, on, yeah. <laughs> Run, bitch! Run! <laughs> Why'd you come here, man? And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? And, and also, bro, she just got a persona. Chill Are out. You all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And. <laughs> Where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Morgana's tone of voice is all like, mm, yes, it's going to be okay. How am I supposed to calm down? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> My outfit? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? Uh, you look great. Huh? What are you talking about? What the hell are you thinking? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. Yeah, let's roll. Let's roll. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. Ugh, fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Oh, we're leaving. Thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, are you okay? Well, pretty much. Right. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now, but a lot sure did happen back there. Yeah. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. The way they're handling the first kind of dungeon being minor interstices, like like between the, like the story stuff, makes it feel way less like slow paced for the, uh, uh, for the combat and stuff. Like just, it just feels better, you know. Which one you want? Yeah, 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 yeah. lemon or Dr Pepper. I don't know. Whichever is not carbonated. They're both carbonated. Uh, yep. they're both actually. Yep. <laughs> then... Here you go. Aw, what a bro. What about me? You're a cat. I didn't bring milk. Huh? But uh, you're a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Oh my gosh, <laughs> Lady um, On. Morgana, right? Yeah. I really am talking to a cat. <laughs> this feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? <laughs> Ans already got with the program. It's only natural that you're confused. <laughs> Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Ha <laughs> ha! Morgan is such a hypocrite! It was like, ah, oh, you dumbass, Ryuji. So stupid, Ryuji. Oh my god, Ryuji, why don't you just get it? It's totally okay that you don't understand all this at once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. My persona. It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. 
So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. All right. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Yep. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. Mm -hmm. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. She said the thing. So let's go. Wait, did you just say, let me help? Yeah. You mean you want us to take you along? <laughs> yeah, you're not scared about all this? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? She'll be great, yeah. I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I'll protect her. <laughs> Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Yeah. Ah, right, she can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning Keep her down. the party together. Let's do this, y'all. Ah, fine. All right. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. <laughs> I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Yeah, now that I've been thinking about it, the idea of him have like, you know, him having like a, a change of heart, it could be more that he has to bear the weight of what he's doing, meaning like he'll feel the pain that he's caused. So it's not that he'll change to be just a better person. It's the whole thing of like having that come down on them, you know? No, 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 no. But see, see, guys, I feel like I feel like because you have the weight that you guys have the contextual information, you're not realizing how I misinterpreted what he said. The thing that what he said was that he would have a change of heart. And what one of the things is that uh, a lot of stories will do this where people will end up saying like, oh, if we can just make the bad guy, you know, think that he's doing something wrong then everything will be okay. And that's something that, because we're in this part of the story right now, where a lot of the dialogue is very like tutorialized and stuff, yeah, it, it kind of seems like we're trying to save him even though he doesn't necessarily want to be saved. And it's, yeah, it's a Vegeta is good now, everyone. And it's, it's one of my most disliked like tropes when used poorly. Well, right, but the, the reason why I think it's important is that Kamoshida doesn't feel like a like a big bad for the story. He feels like a he feels like an introductory kind of villain for the team to get together, you know? And then we're gonna go deal with bigger fish. And when when we uh, when we deal with bigger fish, I want the I want the antagonist to be more nuanced. I think the point of this is that Kamoshida works really well as an emotional hook for the viewer to make things really simple, where it is black and white. It is actually not that nuanced. It's just, no, fuck Kamoshida. He's just a really horrible, evil guy. But this is the kind of story where things are going to go into the shades of gray. And if we're going to do that, I would rather have the way that we handle the bad guys be an actual nuanced thing if we're going to talk about you know, making our own justice and stuff like that, where also we're clearly having the conversation of a, you know, our good boy Japanese protagonist who's also a kind of a, you know, I'll do things that are against society's standards in order to get my own justice, but I won't kill anybody, right? I want, I want that line to get more fuzzy and more... Uh, more complicated as he deals with more antagonists that are more integrated well into society. Because in some ways, Kamashida is a really, he's a really specific example, meaning like Kamashida doesn't work as well in other contexts, right? Like he wouldn't be this powerful, if that, if that makes sense. There are other places where someone like him could work like that. Yeah, he's, he's just a PE teacher. There could be people that are more powerful, people that are, you know, politicians, people that are leaders of like, you know, corporations and stuff like that. People that are, you know, like, like cult religious leaders. Like I'm trying to think of all the like shitty people that are in strong positions in society. 
and I, I'd like to have them actually address the way those things need to be handled, I guess, a little bit more nuanced. And if we're just going to be making people feel bad rather than, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is also just reminding the protagonist that they can't actually change that much and that ultimately a lot about what justice is is not about giving yourself more power to be able to dish out harder and harder punishment on those that need to be uh, given a reality check as to what their what their actions are doing, I guess. Right, and because, yeah, exactly, Goryad, and because Kamashita is such a simplistic villain, that's why I got extra pissed about the idea of the story leaning into a very simplistic, oh, let's just, let's just make him feel bad, you know? As if that solves anything. I don't know. But then again, that's the other issue with having fantasy stories where it gets into the villains being solved or being kind of beaten by fantastical means that, eh, well, maybe, maybe it's fine. I, I don't know, I don't know. I just, yeah, we'll have to see how it turns out. Is this, this game is starting to make me question some things and I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. I don't want to have antagonists that are so one note and just evil, basically, like Kamashita, be brought back into the story as like, oh yeah, Thanks for what you did, guys. Because of what you guys did in that other world or what have you, I, I feel great and now I'm a part of the story and we're gonna waste time. I mean, maybe this is the other thing. It's more of a meta thing. I don't like wasting time on characters in story that are written to be so cartoonishly evil that afterwards we can just have a, a switch flipped and suddenly we have to re-meet them as a new character. It just, it, it doesn't feel satisfying, I guess, to me. But if we had, Here's where it's different, I would say. If we had a more nuanced antagonist, someone that was already kind of in that gray area where they were a little bit back and forth and stuff like that, then then maybe that would be one where we could see a little bit more of a progression. So, I don't know. Let the game cook. Yeah, that's, that's, a, good, that's a good way to just look at it from now. All right, let's Not get back to the game for here. Shiho's sake. Enough ranting. But for everything he's done. Yeah. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. Cool. I sense a strong fighting resolve from on. Oh! Social link! Oh! Got baited again. A group like yours must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. All right. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. Whoa. I am thou. Oh, cool, cool. Thou art We're not I. listening. Thou hast acquired a Bye, new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Hell yeah. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Alright, sick. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... <laughs> Just you, not Ryuji, I guess. No, the, 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 the plural you, of course. I'll be counting on you then. Sweet. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. <laughs> what a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. Mm. Mm. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends and she's beautiful to boot. <laughs> what a girl. She's captured my heart. Oh my gosh, the voice acting's amazing though. Dude. <laughs> you know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. Ah, True. yes. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. I have an attic that's kind of big. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. Hmm? The school rooftop would work. Or that, that works too, sure, it sure. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, 
That will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. Aw, oh, okay. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. Uh, yes, I volunteer as tribute. I'm personally nominating you. Mm-hmm. You should feel honored. Okay. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. All right, all right. Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Cool. Shujin Academy rooftop will be your hideout from now on. Cool, so we can probably quick travel to there from pretty much anywhere. Or from most anywhere. Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Oh, friend, friend, friend. Hey, punk rock woman. Hello. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. I'm just saying hi. Sorry if he was rude, doctor. Doctor, okay. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. Try not come on. <laughs> I just want to talk to her. Thanks. I'll see you later. Okay. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. All right. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over at that clinic down the street. Oh, yeah. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. Of uh, what? At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. Huh. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. Shut the fuck up, Morgana. I'm gonna let you out to meet. Uh, yeah, there we go. What the? What is this place? <laughs> is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you? Uh. I was wondering why I heard meowing. Meowing? What did you bring it here for? Bruh. It was abandoned. Yeah. That's... It's a shame. Yeah, I knew it. I knew you are a big softie somewhere in there, Sojiro. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. They're just gonna be up here. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Oh, okay. Fine. But keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Fair. Oh, and I'm not gonna take care of it. That's all on you. I'm used to taking care of things that I have to manage. Just, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Was that the ruler of this place? Yes. This palace is one that we cooperate. I get this half of the palace. He gets the bottom half. You have no stake in this, Morgana. You have to have at least, like, a month of residency here before we start giving you a, you know, a partner deal. He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Mm -hmm. But again, I suppose to normal people, I just sound like a meowing cat. Yes, you meow quite a bit. Hey! Seriously. I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. <laughs> Make sure you wash that dish. Sojiro's already a big fat liar. He's already, he's already helping, you know, take care of the cat. Even though he said, I'm not going to help you with any of that. No, no, no. You're going to do all that yourself. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Mona. Morgana? Oh. Huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. <laughs> aww. Aww. Looks like the chief likes me better than you. Yep. True. And to be honest... This place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Wait, that's where you were staying all this time? Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? Oh. To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. That's cool. I don't either. <laughs> I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. Oh. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's sure. no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. 
Aww. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Sure, tell me about that. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Hmm. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take. All right, all right, give me your social link. Due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature, I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. All right, yeah, but for real? <laughs> Wolf, I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? Hell yeah, let's go. I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Morgana seems rather happy. Okay, so yeah, it is right before every new confidant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Mm -hmm. Answer me. I am thou. All right. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired now. a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. What? Arcana. With the birth of the magician persona, okay. I have obtained the wings okay. of blessing that hmm. shall lead to freedom and new power. Hmm. All right, sweet. Number one, we got a crafting I'll system. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. Morgana, you've been lecturing me since you got into the story. <laughs> By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. All right, all right. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. Okay, okay. This is all part of our deal, got it? Got it, yeah, sure. I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? I expect to. Oh! It may be crowded, but it looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky. Hmm. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we can put it to good use. Wait, do we get, do we get preschool downtime? What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy. Fog? Fog? Oh no, fog. And I have no energy. I've tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? Well, that's not good. Is this the onset of a psychotic breakdown? Well, what should I do? Am I gonna die? Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic, come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something that'll fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Hey, wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanc a doctor? <laughs> she was wearing punk clothes. No! That's not what's important here. Though she did have an interesting fashion sense. It might be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. Morning. Yo, morning, Crispy. What are you doing here? Let's head to school together. I mean, it's right there, but whatever. Looks like we're all here. <laughs> With that shit. All right. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. Okay. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Guess so, yeah. Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. But didn't they say like, you only have like a few days, then you're gonna get expelled? Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. Cool, cool. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. 
Yes. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. <laughs> Ryuji's so excited. He's like, bro, 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 bro. I got this really sweet katana. It's actually real. <laughs> In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. All right, let's get stimmed up. And where can we get medicine? On. What? Don't worry. I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen. So let's head off for today. All right. Uh, what business? Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Hey, remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? The doctor who prescribes medication after a quick examination? She was sitting at the booth. Yeah, I remember. Actually. I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. Hey. She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. Okay. Ah, I've heard of her. You should steer clear of private physicians. Larger hospitals are much better because they've got so many more talented doctors. The doctor I go to works at a major hospital. He's very good, or at least he feels reliable. Oh my god, are we be ab about to tackle like alternative health and medicinal routes that people take because of the corruption in the pharmaceutical and health and drug systems? It ah! This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Um, we'll, we need to be honest, yeah. How do you expect normal people to understand what a palace is? This is the... Make something well, up. I guess that's the only choice we have. <laughs> we just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Okay, here we go. Well, is this your first visit? Hmm. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah. Right, well, Blanc. Hmm. Well, whatever. So, what are you here for today? Uh, my body feels lethargic. Fine. Please head to the exam room. Okay. Easy. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? All right, hit me with it. Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Uh, I want painkillers. <laughs> is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year long supply of them too. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. Mm. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? Uh-huh. Are the rumors true? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. Hmm. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, totally. fine. I'll prescribe Easy. you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. Wow. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. That is called attractiveness privilege. We are a very pretty anime boy, so we're getting like all the way in, easy. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's yeah. your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. You're a bad doctor. No, that'll really help. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Let's say. Let's say it. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Damn. This is all I've got right now. Okay, which one? Wow, the silhouette though. Whew. Okay. That should work. Thanks. 
You want that one? There you go. That should work. Thanks. That should be good. Take care. All right, good luck with that. What's the reason for your visit? Do you have a cold, stomachache, athlete's foot? Whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Enough of this. Uh-oh. You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine. <sighs> I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it it's a drug so potent it can give a person unlimited power. Really? Well, that's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that could, will only become a, so a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that? I'm just a quack. The police may not be taking action, but I imagine the media will soon pick up on it. You intend to ruin my reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <sighs> What's with the look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Tai Takami will never... Hey, somebody there! Oh, oh, oh. We're really good at eavesdropping. Man. Jeez, they almost caught us. It sounded like they were talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? <laughs> we should use that, yeah. Yes. I agree. If it's that strong, it might come in handy at the palace. All right, let's come back when that man isn't here. We shouldn't involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the Phantom Thieves a secret, okay? Okay. Anyway, great work. That went really well. So you know that store I mentioned with the model guns? It's in Shibuya. I can go with you if you want. Uh, sounds good. Sweet. Well, let's figure out where to meet. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, yeah? Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check the place out for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to go see Shiho in the hospital. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry, we got this. We'll see you in Shibuya. Could it be? I'll be in front of the station. We might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Oh well, my we can gosh. leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. All right. Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on the palace. That's where the real fun starts, got it? <laughs>